everybody this is my first C tutorial and what we're going to do today is basically I'm going to teach you the hello world program and unlike my Java tutorial I'm not going to teach you how to install a program um, just go to this link I'll put it in the description below and just go to Visual Studio Express because that's free. We don't want to do these trials and these really expensive stuff. Now, just go to Windows Studio, uh, Video Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows Desktop, and then choose this one and click Install Now, and then it'll give you an installation thing, and it would look like that. Just click that, and then download it. And after you download it, it'll install. It'll probably tell you to restart your computer and all that stuff. And hopefully you know how to install things onto your computer. Or else that would be very weird. Now when you install Visual Studio Express 2013, open it. Now when you've opened it, um, it will look something different. It will look like this. Now it'll be blue, alright. Look at like this color, which you know looks really ugly. And when you look at it for long periods of time, your eyes would hurt. So I would go to Tools, Options, and then choose Dark. And then there you go. Now, when you're in this window over here, all right, just click File, New, New Project. And what you want to do is go to Visual C++ and then Win32, Windows 32 console application. And I choose that and I'm going to name this YouTube C. Alright, and then we'll click OK. Just click Next and then click Empty Project. Alright, always click Empty Project. Click, click Finish. Hopefully this isn't all my hit. Well, it's going to take a while. Now, nothing should happen. Just um, nor click Solution Explorer, all right, and then right-click on YouTube C, click Add New Item, C++ file, and what we want to do is change this to Source.C, and I'll change the source file because we're not going to make a C++ file. We're going to make a C file, which is a little bit different. But all, all you need to do is gonna have C++ just change it to C click add and then after that it should come up with this now we're gonna all right so after that's done type exactly what I type here now standard library IO not H and then we do int main Right, and then we do print f, and then we do hello world. This should be a very familiar program to everybody. And we do a return zero. Now let's first run it. Now, how if you want to run the program, just click debug and start without debugging. Now, yes. Wait for it, wait for it, and it should come out like this. It should say hello world, it press any key to continue. Now, it should do this, and if it doesn't, uh, I think you followed some wrong steps, and you should re redo everything. But, whatever, close that. Now I'm going to explain to you what the hell this is. Now, here, when it's including something, it says in hashtag include. Right, it's it's not like Instagram and Facebook hashtag cool hashtag swag. It actually means something. It says include this standard library. Now what we're doing here is saying include the standard library input output. Now you don't really need to understand this right now and yet. Yeah. Now here it says int main. All right. Now int main is actually main is a function. Now, we will get into functions later and more in depth, but what a function is is basically something that functions it, functions something, and has a set of instructions in it. You do not need to know what int means, just forget it. 
and now here print f hello world now this might be quite self-explanatory actually this is a print f now i've ran the program and showed you it basically prints something on the screen that's why it's called print f now here we write hello world and what we want to print and then we put it in parentheses i mean like quotation marks because this means it is a string of text now it you only put quotations when it has strings of text now when we finish the program we need to return a zero now just return it and basically it ends the program every time you run a program you have to type return zero now every program every function that runs it will it will have to return something unless it's a void return type which we will not explain now but it will be a void return type if we if you don't want to have a return zero but we don't need to know that just remember to return zero now this might be very very confusing and complicated and extremely weird and I'm extremely sorry but this is how you sort of have to start learning stuff and the bulk and the main part of this tutorial is the print f and it's probably the easiest and the most um self-explanatory thing it basically does print f print stuff on the on the, on the screen like hello world and of course it's different to java if you watch my videos there it's a little bit different so yeah, if you find it confusing, it's completely fine. You'll understand things very quickly after this. And when we get the basics done, it will be extremely easy for the rest of you. And yeah, I hope you like this video and smack that like button and see you later.